someone who's just starting, I th- it sounds really, it sounds obvious, but I don't think enough people do it. Is he's going to like a, a beginners classes in certainly in in MMA, but also in like the the the, fo- the sort of underlying disciplines of mixed martial arts. So generally like Brazilian jiu jitsu, wrestling, boxing or kickboxing, and and then mm. usually there'll be some kind of mixed martial arts class. And that's kind of what I've wanted to set up, um, which I've, I've recently set up uh, uh, an already established gym in Sally where I live. And that is like a, a grassroots mixed martial arts program for guys who want to get into the sport, but the the may struggle to sort of have that coaching to bring them up to speed um, to to a, to a decent level. What what we tend to find, if you were to look at say the the city of Birmingham at the moment, we have some fun. We're probably one of the best cities in the country in terms of our athletes, but a lot of us have kind of figured it out for ourselves over years and years of training different gyms different coaches and kind of pieced it together ourselves through experience and through international travel and things of that nature um but for other guys so we have our, our our sessions and they're great and they are heavily influenced around building skills and refining skills especially more tactical considerations i would say than anything else um sort of tactics and game planning and, and like really going over what we're already good at a lot of the time but mm. beginners come to those sessions or amateurs come to them sessions and, and I don't feel like they understand sort of the bigger picture. I think having, uh, not being afraid to go to beginner sessions is probably the biggest thing for someone starting out and sort of learning the basics and fundamentals before trying to copy what some of the higher level pros do. Because mm. we've all been there. We've all gone to, we've all been white belts in jiu-jitsu and gone to class and gone to beginner's class with a 40-year-old guy there who's just trying to do it as a hobby. And maybe you feel like, oh, well, I want to be a fighter, but I'm above that. But the truth be told is you're not. You need to go to the most foundational classes and kind of build your skills from the ground up rather than trying to jump in and go, well, so-and-so does this. Or, you know, we we have some very high-level guys in our gym um, and just copying what they do now might not be the best thing for an aspiring amateur. You probably want mm. to copy what they did five, ten years ago, not exactly what they're doing now. 